Horntip Rajanasanan is a doctor with a difference. She speaks for the dead, and what she's got to say has made her the best-selling author of a string of real-life crime books. The reason for her popularity is simple. Thailand's Dr. Death, as she's known, is a forensic scientist who's turned the straightforward autopsy into a battleground for the truth. This is a problem for Thailand. They ignore the scientific evidence. The judge, the attorney, the police. I think they don't know much about the forensic science, especially the DNA. ที่ผมรู้ว่าคดีต่างๆที่ที่คลายลงนะส่วนหนึ่งก็มาจากคุณหมอที่อ่ะช่วยสืบเรื่องราวต่างๆฮะซึ่งว่าถ้าเกิด
But today, Pontip is not in the southern city of Suratani for photos. She's here to fight a lawsuit brought against her by the local police. It's a case that goes to the heart of what Pontip stands for and why so many ties have rallied to her support. The case centres on the death in police custody of a quiet married 21-year-old Sutisak Rimdusit. Accused of raping a four-year-old girl, Sutisak was hauled in for police questioning. In one hour, he was dead. The police said he died of asphyxia. They preserved the body in the refrigerator. So the body was very well preserved. Suspicious of Sutisak's rapid expiry in police hands, his family did what scores of ties are now doing every year. They brought his body to Pontip for an independent autopsy. There was no indication of asphyxia. Instead, Pontip found signs of torture, melted plastic on his groin, a telling bruise on his chest, indications, she says, of police brutality. This kind of injury happened from someone who jumped on the body when this one was lying down on the floor. Lieutenant Colonel Sugrita Onsuk was the policeman in charge. He says other inmates killed Sutisak and is suing Porn Tip for blaming his police. This kind of pattern of injury uh, might not be due to the body assault from the other anger, from the anger. Just be from the police who want something, for, uh, who want the truth from him. And that's why the police are now suing you, because yeah, you said yeah, that basically. Yeah. But it looks like police brutality. Yeah, it looks like police more than the other prisoner. In a telling twist, police refused to release the dead boy's semen for an independent DNA test. To Pontip, this means Sutisak probably didn't even commit the crime. But his death reveals a major problem in Thailand's justice system. Thailand's leading human rights lawyer, Somchai Homlaor, says the courts rely too heavily on confessions instead of scientific proof. According to the system, if the accused confess, the confession can uh, be used uh, enough uh, to prosecute the accused. How do the police extract that confession normally? Normally they use many ways and means, you know. They may use the spastic back to wrap up uh, the head of the accused. And the accused uh, have to confess and sign the confession. The use of confessions instead of science is now the issue in the case of Australian backpacker Kelvin Burke. He was shot while camping on the Thai Burma border with his girlfriend. Under pressure to catch culprits, police hauled in two Hill Tribe men who quickly confessed. But when presented to his girlfriend, Sherry McFarlane, who was raped by the attackers, she couldn't positively identify them. Found guilty and facing a death sentence, they now say their confession was false, beaten out of them by the police. Then they called in Pontip, who made a startling discovery. The DNA of them uh, were not compatible with 
the DNA of the semen in the vagina of the victim. And what chance do they have of getting off? In this case, I think I cannot help because uh, the process is in the court. No one can interrupt this. But uh, I try to find the truth for him. Back at the Suratani court case, things have gone from bad to worse. Police have turned up in strength not just to intimidate Hauntip, but to arrest two NGO volunteers who had helped her with the case. Colonel Onsuk refuses to answer any more of our questions. But their aggressive resistance to change is not just because they're not used to it. In Thailand, forensic findings are generally under police control and they've used it to fabricate evidence and to make money. The centre of the forensic is under the department of the police. We found that in many cases the result of the test of the evidence is not reliable. Uh, because of the corruption of the police, some influential people uh, can uh, interfere uh, and even to uh, pay uh, for uh, make the result otherwise. For Porn Tip, there is one way justice can be delivered to all ties, regardless of position or money a forensic institute separated from the police. But with a former policeman as Prime Minister, the Thai government is now ignoring her. I will go out and raise fund from the public. <laughs> because I don't want to be the one that uh, everyone have to come to see me when they need help. I think the government should set up the institute for the public. Mm -hmm. why they ignore this problem about the human rights. And Dr. Porntip has good reason for urgency in her pursuit. You know, I had two cancer in my life and I told the public that I want to be the good one because I want to die in a good way. Maybe there, there are not so long time for me. Although working a modern science, Hauntip is a very traditional Thai. She believes the spirits of the dead seek justice through her. But with powerful, at times, brutal forces arrayed against her, does Dr. Pontip fear for her own safety? And I think uh, the goodness should protect me from the danger from the other people. So I believe that the spirits of the death will protect me. Uh, it's a Buddhist way. You genuinely believe? Yeah, that. I genuinely believe. Many Thais who have never dared challenge the police before must be praying that she's right.